Hey, this is Dan. And Bob. From Gigaboots.com. And today, we're doing a quick play of Star Raiders. Exciting. 360. It, and maybe other stuff. We don't know yet. They have to get back up. In any case, let's check it out. It's got a story to tell. It's a story about people that are poorly drawn. Huh. What sort of photo is that? I don't know. He's, I think like that black man is photobombing. <laughs> <laughs> totally. I also love the half daps. Go, oh, he's grabbing his jacket. He's not about oh, to punch her in the arm. That's, I don't believe you. That looked just like a violent assertion to all women. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Okay. The Star Raiders. Ooh. Here's the title, in case you didn't. It should take up the whole screen. <laughs> Partly drawn. <laughs> Emaciated as hell. <laughs> All she ever does is stand over graves. She has motive. He can grow grow larger. Yes. <laughs> He's all like a nut chuck. A nut chuck. Oh, is that voice supposed to be that guy? Really? Hard way. Ooh. Ooh. This is going to be scary. Okay, so this game is... uh. A sort of Wing Commander-esque, but from a third perspective, sort of dealy. And my... It looks like I'm not moving. I, I know, know it looks like I'm not moving. Like, we had this problem right before the quick play. I could not convince them I'm moving. I'm moving right now. No, you're not. Look at that meter on the right. It fills up, and then it drops. In fact, you can look at this little particle. See, I'm getting closer, and then it stops. And I'm moving. That is real. Wow. That's... In any case, you got your standard guns. You got lasers. Oh, this ship has a slightly different laser. That's cool. So, uh... Yeah. It's wow. a game. Um, I can barrel roll, but it's not too quick. <laughs> I personally think You shouldn't this... have to try and convince people that you're moving. Honestly. I, with a video game, no. Video games should kind of be designed around... Okay, I can tell that you're moving just because there's that other thing that is a 3D. Yes. But the background is completely, like, it's stationary not... Stationary. Yeah, looking, stationary. Yeah. And I know that you're in space, so it's hard to get near stuff, but we still need something to have a sense of depth here, guys. Uh, there was something on the PS1, I can't remember the name of it right now, but it had a very similar problem. <laughs> and it wasn't, it wasn't Wing Commander. That, that was, had many other problems. That was the PS1. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I understand that, but this is a, obviously a relatively low-budget game. Right. I say relatively because this isn't an indie game, which... Honestly, with this music, those drawings, and various other aspects, had you told me this was an indie game, I wouldn't have been terribly surprised. Yeah, this, this music is... This doesn't fit the situation, this doesn't sound good, this is just bad. Honestly, that's how... The not fitting the situation is exactly how the music was in uh, Gatling Gears. Like, that was yeah. just goofy and lighthearted, and I was like... At least this, that sound is somewhat well composed, whereas this is just like... Oh, I just have a soundboard of spacey sound effects, let's go. Yeah. You got a problem with spacey sound effects? Clearly. <laughs> Cut out your spacism. You know? We don't have time for your prejudice in space, Bob. We have tons of black holes we can just throw people like you into. Oh. And there's my, my laser on this one. It's a lot cooler than the laser on the other one. Yeah. Oh. One Ooh, moment while I make is, my way to the other generator. This is pretty boring. You're pretty boring. Honestly, I mean, this... I wish I co-founded Gigaboots with this <laughs> game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... We'd, we'd go around playing other games, and it would be in space. <laughs> It'd be cool. I mean, we've had b games much of the same design. Uh -huh. Far better for generations. Such as? Such as Freelancer on the PC. That came out a long time ago. Okay. Uh... We had all the Star Wars games, like Star Wars N64 games, the flying ones were better than this. Rogue Squadron? Not, was it Rogue Squadron? There was a Rogue Squadron on the N64, yeah, yeah. but there weren't multiple flying Star Wars games on the N64. Okay, so there, the, there was the was, Racer, and then there was the one. Yeah, so Rogue Squadron 1 was a, amazing compared to this. Honestly. Well, yeah, that's a full $50 game being backed by LucasArts. That's really unfair. It's all like right. watching two kids fight in the street and be like, Muhammad Ali will beat the shit out of you! <laughs> I got you were caught apparently up in that. too close, so you died, and they didn't give you a warning. That would be. I respond though. All right. That. What? We're trying to carry a narrative here. Doesn't responding and. 
Right. Okay, okay, whatever. I'm just... And then I need to recharge just to show off things can recharge you. Ooh, recharging. Good job. Finish off the Xylon frigate and then recharge your sheep and the... Yeah. Okay. okay. You're just telling me I completed all that. Okay, now on to the third mission. This is going to be exciting. Uh, I do have to agree, though, that this is lacking in a lot of ways, and the controls have completely changed. I think I changed them on accident. I hope I changed them on accident. Okay, where was the one I was just on? No. Yes. Okay, that's the one I was just on. Um, no, right. it wasn't. Hmm. Huh. Okay, pitch, yeah, forward, strafe. Yeah, this all looks normal. Okay, I'm going... Okay, and save that time. The, yeah. Why did it completely change the controls? I think you have a slightly different kind of ship now. So. Yeah, okay, whatever. I'm just... I, I'm not saying these controls are bad, it's just confusing to, like, these new controls are okay, in fact. I kind of find these preferable to the other ones, but, uh... It's just hella confusing to throw <laughs> it at you at the last second. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, never mind. I don't find these preferable to the other ones. Oh, there's a brake button on this. Oh, so this is one that's always moving forward, I guess. Yeah, it's moving forward by default. You can see that on the uh, right bar. The only scientific evidence we have to show that I'm moving. <laughs> okay, A accelerates me now. My god. <laughs> that needs to not keep switching up. I hope to god I fucked up the controls, because that's just absurd to think that controls should change for mission. Yeah, that would be pretty bad. Do you have a laser on here? Uh, that missile is what's there instead of the laser from uh, prior missions. Which, honestly, that thing hits the stuff. Yeah, so yeah. That works out. Good. You get and salvage now, credits for everything you kill. That's neat. What Ooh, the hell? Red alert. We're playing Red Alert? Yeah. Oh. When it's did a, that happen? It was actually, actually right now we're playing a really good game. Oh. Oh, whoa, whoa. Where are we? I don't... This doesn't look like Red Alert. <laughs> this is... No, this doesn't look a thing like Red Alert. Where's Tim Curry? I don't... <laughs> I need to go back and buy Red Alert 3. Yeah. Steve's just gonna be angry. <laughs> now you wanna play Red Alert 3. <laughs> yep. Yep. Come on. Do you have a meter for how many missiles you got or something? Uh, not that I'm seeing. Okay, I got all those. Now I just need to salvage one more of those credits. Alright. Okay, there we go. And I am done. Yes. Yes, I did that. That has been did. Okay, there we go there. Uh, let's try the next mission. Hopefully the controls will regulate. Just the beginning of the larger invasion. Now that you're at the Solaris, go to the equipment menu to upgrade the your chain cannon and outfit your ship with an Android co-pilot so that we can restore transformation control. Once that is complete, use the galactic chart to find the next combat sector and head there to receive your orders. Okay, so I'm gonna take that top screen. How do I do that? I hit left and right bumper to go between tabs. All right. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade my chain cannon. To the brace cannon. That's weird. It's gonna hold them. I guess. Oh, you, you select them for different modes. And I guess in the f in future missions now you're gonna be able to uh, switch between the different um different Things. modes. So okay. they each mode just has their own controls, I guess. Mm-hmm. Which is really strange. Let's see. Okay, so I'm choosing di between different androids, and as you can see, they have their own benefits. So this one's shield one, that one's the damage one, and that one is the use less energy one. Alright, it just gives you a description of what they are, and some numbers down there, but it doesn't have like a standardized stat screen. Okay. Yeah. I mean, these are just icing from what they've been described as. I want to do more damage, but I don't have enough money, so you I guess... You the cheapest. I guess I'm getting this. Uh... Adds 10% bonus to damage and reduces energy consumption by 10%. I guess I'll have to deal with that. 
Okay, cool. Now go to the galactic chart. Boom. All right. Galaxy. It's all red. It's, it's sepia. This <laughs> is yeah. Okay. I like that. Doesn't look too red, but maybe it's that one little icon. Oh, okay. they just totally teased I... us with, yeah, go buy equipment and stuff, and then you can't play anymore. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, at least we showed off the equipment systems and stuff, and, uh, and yeah. Yeah. So that's how that game is, uh, switch between light and heavy modes, and you get your androids, and you fly out there in space, and you have to keep an eye on that meter to let you know you're moving. <laughs> that's what you do. Amazing. So, yeah, Star Raiders, the 360, and the... Uh, I Check it out for today, <laughs> or go to gigaboots.com for videos of other games. Ah! For video reviews, quick plays, top eights, and more, go to gigaboots.com.